Let's go, baby! The Knicks go a 1-0 on the Indiana Pacers. They get the W, 121-117. to 117. Wow, what a game from these New York Knicks. Closing it out in the fourth quarter. Putting up 39 points in that fourth quarter. Jalen Brunson doing Jalen Brunson things. 43 points, 6 dimes. 14 of 14 from the free throw line. Are you joking me? This is becoming a normal thing from our guy Jalen Brunson. Josh Hart had a phenomenal game as well. And the New York Knicks, after the Pacers, kind of had the momentum throughout the entire of the game. But who cares? Because what matters the most is the clutch. When there's three minutes to go in the fourth quarter, the Knicks play their best brand of basketball. Jalen Brunson hit clutch shot after clutch shot. The Knicks got the stops when they needed to the most and they get the W. This was massive, folks. The Knicks needed to get this win for a lot of different reasons. I've been stressing it all the time on this channel, folks. When you are a basketball team that is in the NBA playoffs and have home court advantage, you have to win definitely the first game at home and you need to win both games so you can maintain home court and the New York Knicks do just that. It was not pretty. It was not perfect. The Indiana Pacers, they fought. This is going to be a hell of a series, but the Knicks fought, they clawed, they showed their true heart, they showed their resilience, and they found a way to win, and that is the brand of this Knicks basketball team. It may not be the prettiest basketball, but they find ways to win, and that's all that matters. Led by our guy, Jalen Brunson. Knicks fans, let me know in the comments section right now your thoughts of this victory. Huge win to go up 1-0 in this series in round number two. Wow, I am at a loss for words. The game literally just ended this is my immediate reaction. Let's freaking go, guys. Don't forget to hit the like button if you're enjoying the, the video here. And subscribe to Knicks Media if you're just tuning in for the first time. My name is Richie, and we cover everything New York Knicks here on YouTube at Knicks Media. So definitely hit that subscribe button, baby. Now, getting into some of the box scores, another player who stepped up outside of Brunson and outside of Josh Hart. You guessed it, the other Villanova boy, Dante DiVincenzo. Low-key, the biggest shot of the night. Hit that three-pointer with around 38. Eight seconds to go from the top of the key. That was massive. All the momentum was on the Pacers' side. It was a tie game. It was close. Every time the Knicks clawed back, the Pacers punched us back. But Dante hit that clutch shot in the fourth quarter. 25 points from Dante DiVincenzo. Five three-pointers made from Dante. To go along with Josh Hart's near triple-double, 24 points, 13 rebounds, 8 assists, 3 steals from Josh Hart. OG Adenobi had a pesky good game, man. 13, 9, and 4 with 2 big steals. Isaiah Hardenstein played well. The Knicks were able to win this game with just three points off the bench. That's going to be the story throughout the series is the Pacers bench is just way better than the New York Knicks. We are obviously not as deep as we wish we were without Boyan Bogdanovich being healthy, of course, and the other injuries on this team. So our bench unit is a huge weakness. The Pacers bench is a strength. We got a lot to talk about this week about TJ McConnell. Okay, we all knew as Knicks fans what to expect from him. He lit us up off the bench with 18 points, but that's not neither here nor there right now. We'll focus on that when we preview game number two. But as of right now, man, the fact that we had these Nova Knicks and we had Jalen Brunson playing like the super superstar that he is, he is playing, folks. He's doing things that Michael Jordan did. This is his fourth straight 40-point game. You might as well call it five straight. Why? Because the game five games ago, he had 39 points. Basically a 40-point outing. Jalen Brunson is doing things that we've never seen in the NBA for decades. He is absolutely putting this New York basketball team on his back. And the role players around him are stepping up. Again, a lot of sloppiness in this game that we can break down. We can talk about some negatives, of course, right? You got to inbound the ball and not turn the ball over there. Obviously, Jalen got into a pickle, tried to throw it off of the pacer, went off of his knee while he's still out of bounds. Didn't go in our favor. A lot of fouls at the end that the Knicks got to clean up. A lot of defensive woes that they got to clean up. Again, a lot of things that the Knicks, from a Tom Thibodeau coaching standpoint, have to make adjustments to shut down the high-flying paced pacers because they are definitely a force to be reckoned with. But at 
the end of the day, the Knicks have the best player on the court, and it's not deny. You can't deny it. It's Jalen Brunson. He is the best basketball player in this series. Arguably one of the best players, if not the best player in the entire NBA playoffs right now. He is the leading NBA playoff scorer for a reason. What he is doing right now, we cannot let this become normal. You see the guy in his bag right here. We can't allow Jalen Brunson being this good just be a normal thing. Yeah, it's just Jalen. Well, yeah. I mean, it's going to become that, but at the end of the day, Knicks fans, what he's doing is so sensational. Or I don't want it to become normal. I'm always going to be blown away from what Jalen Brunson is doing. So the fact that the Knicks were able to have the fourth quarter that they had after the Indiana Pacers finish off the second quarter on that crazy momentum streak, Isaiah Hardenstein luckily hit that half-court shot. I mean, Obi Toppin going in between the legs. What the heck? And then the Knicks in the third quarter, the Pacers won on a little run. The Knicks matched their run. And then in the fourth quarter, the Pacers had all the momentum. They were up by nine points early in that fourth quarter. But then the Knicks went on their run. They played their brand of basketball. And everyone says that the Pacers play fast, which is so true. You can see that, that they like to push the pace, of course, and shoot the ball within the first eight seconds of the shot clock, but the Knicks matched that. You saw Josh Hart hustling down the court, hitting and ones, hit it, getting his own rebound off the free throw, getting a four-point play by getting a freaking and one to go, missing the and one free throw, getting his own rebound, putting it up. That's four points, okay? We had a lot of fun things going in our way in this game. OG Ananobi steal and Duncan transition late in the fourth quarter. Man, I cannot wait, wait to re-watch this game and get more of a detailed uh, perspective of what happened because I'm still like in taking it all and just watching Jalen Brunson go to work is just a thing of beauty. So Knicks fans, sound off in the comment section. I'm curious to get your guys' thoughts. Again, game one is so massive to get the job done. So now we have a cushion and now we can go into Wednesday night back at Madison Square Garden to try to go up 2-0, heading into Indiana. I cannot stress enough how important it is to win these games at home, and the fact that they were able to be resilient and not allow the Pacers' momentum to kind of... Like, the one thing I noticed about this game is the Pacers were going to run, they hit a shot, we'd miss a shot, they'd hit a three, and you feel the momentum is all in Pacers. You're just waiting for them to go on like a 10-15 point like lead, but the Knicks would always hit the shot that would avoid the Pacers to go on that big lead, to get that big cushion, and that's something I really noticed about this Knicks team this game is that every time the Pacers got that five to seven point lead and you felt the momentum go in Indiana's favor, Dante hits a shot or OG gets a shot or Jalen gets an and one or they go to the free throw line. They did not allow the Indiana Pacers to go on that back breaking run. The Knicks were the team to get that back-breaking run at the end of the game. They won on like a 17-6 to run, something like that. Probably not exactly right on the numbers there, but the Knicks finished off this game on the right note, got the job done, hit the clutch free throws. Jalen, 14 for 14. The free throws was a big issue in round one. They cleaned it up tonight. I don't know who missed their shots. I know Josh Hart missed a free throw and other players, but Jalen did not miss his free throws. 14 for 14. That's what you like to see. Knicks fans, sound off in the comments. Let's go, Knicks. I'll see you guys tomorrow when we break down this game even more here on Knicks Media. Let's go.